Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to Creative Grandma. I was at the grocery store today and look what I found. These mandala throws are so very popular right now and I just thought it would be wonderful if I shared the designs in this magazine. Now I like to do these kind of show and tells on these magazines because a lot of times if you're looking online you see the cover and that's about all you get to see and you really don't know what's inside. So for all my homebound people who enjoy this, this is for you and for anyone who loves the mandala throws. So we're just going to take a quick look. There's only 16 designs in the magazine. This is published by Crochet. It's the Crochet magazine. Magazine. This is the official magazine of the Crochet Guild of America. So when you look down here, you'll see it's the late autumn 2020 issue, crochetmagazine.com. It's $9.99 in the U.S., $10.99 in Canada. And I will have a link to the digital copy. If you click that link, it'll take you right to Annie's. Or you can look for it in your grocery store. That's where I found it. Or any newsstand that sells magazines that sell crochet magazines. So this one on the cover really caught my eye. I had to buy the magazine. So let's take a look inside and look at these 16 Mandela style throws to crochet. So the first afghan in the magazine is the Spectrum Mandela throw. And this is designed by Lisa Gentry. It's very, very gorgeous. And it says round upon round of gorgeous textures and colors come together to create this stunning throw that is sure to take center stage no matter where it is displayed and I have to tell you Lisa did a wonderful job this is just absolutely amazing and this design I would pay $9.99 just for this pattern so when you get 16 patterns in one magazine that has these fantastic designs I feel that is a wonderful price for what you're getting here's another photo of that same afghan the second afghan in the magazine is called the Celtic Mandela Throw, and this is designed by Bonnie Barker. And we've all heard of Bonnie, and look at the fantastic job she did with this afghan. Very, very pretty. So much texture with all those different crochet stitches. Wonderful design, Bonnie. And then here is another up-close photo of that design. The next pattern, this is the third one, this is the Fall Comfort Throw, and this is designed by Cherie White, I hope I pronounced that correctly. This striking throw is created by alternating three self-striping yarns, which allows you to focus on the unique stitch pattern crocheted from the center out in the Bavarian stitch. Each new round of color adds to its visual complexity. And then there is another photo of that afghan. So the next design in the magazine is Sophie's Universe. Now this has an interview. I believe this was designed by Deidre Yus. U-Y-S. I don't know how to pronounce the name. It gives an interview about the designer. So here you see three small young ones playing on top of the afghan. Then here's another photo where it talks about the Sophie's Universe crochet along. The next design in this magazine is called the Six Pointed Star Afghan. And this design is by Sandra Jean Smith. An all-time favorite from the Annie's Archives gets an update with on-trend colors for your modern home decor. Can you imagine this design if you use like several different colors of the same color like a real pale blue light blue medium blue darker blue or do the same with pinks or purples just all kinds of things that I can see you know for this design just use your imagination and really get creative and then here's another up close photo of that design the next pattern in the magazine is the tree of life afghan and this is designed by margaret wilson the mighty oak tree was the inspiration for this stunning fall themed afghan at the center a cross section of the tree is surrounded by rounds of acorns and fall foliage the photos detail many of the techniques used to create this one-of-a-kind project. So very pretty for fall. And then here is another photo of the afghan laid out. 
The next pattern in the magazine is the Serenity Mandala Throw designed by Kathleen Berlou. Rich textures combine with a soothing neutral palette to create a throw that's cozy and calm. Post-stitch rounds form raised ridges that create dimensional contrast with the open work rounds. And then here is another photo of it laid out. And remember, you can put your own spin with color. You can use different colors. And the magazine really does have wonderful, up-close, detailed photos of parts of these afghans so you can really see in detail the stitches. The next pattern in the magazine is the Starburst Mandela Throw and this was designed by Priscilla Hewitt. Highly textured relief stitches make this round mandala design pop. Deep teal sets off this design worked in worsted weight yarn. Isn't that pretty? I love the center. I love this portion here. I love how that she made that. Very, very pretty. And then here is a photo of it laid out. I hope you can see that okay. I got a little bit of glare from my light, but very pretty. The next pattern in the magazine is the Cathedral Rose Window Afghan, designed by Julene Watson. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Crocheted and assembled from the center out, this spectacular award-winning afghan is a true work of art. Take your time and enjoy making this beauty. I've seen this afghan before and it is truly, truly stunning. Isn't that gorgeous? The next pattern in the magazine is the roundabout throw and this again is a design by Margaret Wilson. Shades of saturated colors are crocheted in rounds of textural stitches from the center out creating a stunning color burst effect. Now I think I've seen this already published in one of the crochet magazines but it's still very beautiful and I think this is a wonderful afghan. Great job Margaret. The next design in the magazine is called the Squared Up Mandala. It's designed by Britt Seam Insing. I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. It's S-C-H-M-I-E-S-I-N-G. New to mandala style throws. Start with the simple to stitch throw worked in self-striping worsted weight yarn using easy stitches. You'll not only enjoy making this afghan, but you will be ready to take on your next project too. So great starter pattern. And then here is a photo of the afghan laid out. The next design in the magazine is the Rainbow Star Baby Blanket. Now I have my glasses on and I'm not sure if it's Maria or Marla. It's designed by Maria Isabel or Marla Isabel. Watch this mesmerizing blanket take shape as you crochet from the center out, forming the colorful star design. Pom-poms add a fun and playful touch. So very pretty if you like those star baby blankets. So the next afghan in this magazine is the Algeria afghan designed by Priscilla Hewitt for Annie's signature designs. Stunning textures meet gorgeous colors. Crocheted in the round using self-striping worsted weight yarn and a variety of post stitches, you'll find this project hard to put down. It is very, very pretty. I love the color of that yarn they used. And then here is a close-up of it laying flat. The next afghan is the Honey Bunch Blanket. This again is designed by Priscilla Hewitt for Annie's signature designs. This afghan is all about beautifully crocheted textures worked in worsted weight yarn in the round. This stunning baby blanket is sure to become an heirloom. I just love all these textures and how they're putting them together into these afghans. Wonderful job, Priscilla. And then here is another photo of that baby afghan. The next design in the magazine is the Solar System Blanket. This is designed by Alex Michael Borg. You've got the whole solar system at your fingertips. Start by crocheting the blanket in alternating rounds of navy and gray, and then have fun choosing colors for the planets. And then here is a close-up of it laying flat. And this is a good way to teach your children about the planets with the sun in the middle, and then there's Earth and the other planets. 
The next afghan in the magazine is the Day Star Throw designed by Gemma Owen. This throw is crocheted with self-striping yarn so you never have to change colors. The post stitches and the chevron peaks make this pattern visually easy to follow. And here is a really pretty look at that afghan. The last afghan in the magazine is Ellie Rue designed by Shelby She. Starting at the center with a simple flower motif, watch this Mandela afghan grow round by round. Alternating rounds of textured and lacy stitches add to the beauty. And then here is the afghan laying flat. And then when you look at the rest of the magazine, you'll see that they have their stitch guide in the back to help you with any stitch that you're not familiar with. And then when you turn the page, it gives you an all-out overview of those patterns in the magazine. And then when you turn, it tells you the buyer's guide. And then it showcases Annie's uh, spectacular crochet magazine that come out for the fall. A lot of great little designs in there if you like to decorate for Halloween. And then when you turn it over on the back, it just has a Plymouth Yarn uh, Design Studio ad on the back cover. So that was an inside look at the Crochet Magazine Late Autumn Edition 2020, the 16 on trend Mandela Designs, Mandela Style Throws to Crochet. Again, I'll have a link in the description box underneath this video that has the link directly to the downloaded version right at Annie's website if you want to purchase this for yourself and these some of these afghans in here are just absolutely spectacular and I hope you enjoyed looking at the designs so until next time stay inspired and happy crocheting everyone